So, you want to help to translate the Kiwix website? That's great and that's very important because there are thousands and thousands of people all over the world using Kiwix and it's important that they have some information available in their language. So, if you have volunteered to translate our website, you will probably get an email looking like this. And this means that someone from the Kivix team has assigned you to translate certain pages of the website. You can have a look at these pages here. You have the link to the original document. If you click here, you can see the page in English, which needs to be translated in your language. So what you usually do is you click on Start Translating, and as you can see here, this package contains six different pages, but we start with the first one. Start translating. So this will bring you to the backend login of our website, and you probably have already a login. And I will log in as a translator, so you can see exactly the same thing um, as you will. We log in. And Probably the first thing you see is something like this, which is your profile, where you can, for example, set your password if you want to change it. Or maybe you see the dashboard, which has just some information which is not uh, absolutely important at the moment. But the place you want to go is translations. And here you will find all these documents or pages which need to be translated. If you have already translated some documents, they will be below. So you can see I have already translated the home page from English into German and that job is complete. But now I have six more documents waiting for me. They are up here. And um, I probably simply start with the first one, which is, oh no, Let's start with downloads. And here you can see the button translate. And um, if you should choose not to translate that page for whatever reason, you can still resign, which means the document is sent back uh, to the Kivix team and they will find another translator. So I have decided to translate the downloads page. I click here, translate, and this will open the so-called Advanced Translation Editor. And you can see on the left-hand side all the strings or segments, as we call it, um, of the original text, which is English. And on the right-hand side, the place where your translations will go in your language, which, which is uh, German in my case. So I simply start here. Downloads, well, that's a little bit special because that uh, we don't usually translate it, this word um, into German. So I just leave it here. It's already filled up in the original language. And I just say, OK, that's fine, save. Then the next segment is Kivix at a glance, which translates to Kivix auf einen Blick in German. And if I'm fine with it, I simply hit save. And this brings up the next segment to translate. Kivix Reader, that's the name of a product. I don't translate it at all. And so I just go on. So now that's a very interesting case, what we have here. Because whenever you see um, a colored mark that indicates either um, some special formatting like bold or italic text, or uh, it might be a link. And in this case, these are all links because they are linking to certain other pages of our website. So the A, if you know a little bit of HTML, A stands for a link. But you don't have to worry about HTML. That's the beautiful thing about this uh, translation interface. You can simply translate the whole thing and um, the translator will take care of the rest. So, I have to translate Kivix runs on all platforms and operating systems, which is Kivix läuft auf allen 
Plattformen und Betriebssystemen and so on and so forth. And I just want to show you how to work with these links. Well, unfortunately, um, you don't have to translate these because Android is Android, iOS is iOS, macOS is macOS and so on. But if you need to translate it, you can simply double click here and translate Windows, for example, to Fenster. That's obviously just a joke, but just to show you how it works. And as long as it's still colored, you can be assured that the link is still there and everything is fine. I save it. So, and maybe you have noticed this um, progress bar down here. It says um, you have 16% completed so far. And to finish the whole translation, obviously you need to translate everything. But you can always uh, stop translating and um, proceed later on. That's no problem. Everything is saved. Um, some more details. Um, maybe you noticed this um, exclamation mark here. If you click on that um, segment again and you scroll down a little bit, you can see that there are certain words um, which are not recognized as valid German words. And sometimes this may be just a name, a product name. Mac OS, for example, that's absolutely correct. It's the same thing we use in German, but um, the translation system doesn't know that name, that product name. So, if I don't want to get any warnings anymore in the future, I simply add Mac OS to dictionary by clicking here. So then it disappears. A few minutes have gone by and I have translated the whole page here, as you can see. And there are two more things that I'd like to show you now. Um, one is what I already told you about these exclamation marks with the spelling errors. Um, I can show you this example. Here we have two words that are not recognized and both words are some specific terms um, for our purpose and we will need them in the future as well. So I simply add scraper to the dictionary and I add zim.ty to the dictionary like this. And now that exclamation mark is gone. And so the system is confident that this translation is correct. And the last thing I just need to translate one more word, more is mehr in German. I save it and now my translation is 100% complete. And the last thing I need to do is I click on finish. And what I get here is um, some kind of a preview, um, which uh, doesn't have all the images and all the formatting of the website, but still I can check if everything looks all right. And if so, then I can re-deliver my translation. That means um, all these um, segments or texts are sent back to the website. And my job is done. And as, far, uh, as soon as that happens, you will go back to this uh, translation queue where all the translations the ones you have already completed and the ones which are still in progress um, are listed. So, if the original page was already published and, and visible to the public, then your translation most likely will be as well. So, you can always go to the website, for example, by clicking here, and check if this downloads page, which is this one, is available in your language. And usually, um, if it is, you will see the language switcher up here and you can switch to your language. And now this page presents itself in German. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. Thanks again for translating our website. Um, if you need any assistance, please contact us. Um, you have probably um, the email addresses of Stefan or other members of the team. Don't hesitate to contact us. We are very, very grateful that you're doing this work, which is very important to us. Thanks. Thanks.